Hello fellow RPG makers and welcome to another video. In the previous video we have created our beautiful menu. However, if we take a look and activate the menu, we can see that if we click the buttons, they get selected. But outside there is a ton of empty space and who knows, maybe you don't like to design the buttons inside windows. Maybe you'd like some fully custom buttons like images. So in this video, I will teach you how to do exactly that. Now, coding a button is really easy. I will use this picture. It's a public domain picture shared in a public domain. It's a 200 by 200 picture. And I will use the, if I take a look at RPG managers, I will use the load bitmap function just to demonstrate what you can do. So menu plugin, of course, since I want to have it above all windows, I will use the edge child. So let's say this dot custom button equals new sprite custom button and it will need image manager dot load bitmap which accepts for parameters file path img slash pictures do not forget that you need to put a second slash here otherwise it will crash pd do not input the file format because that's up for that's up for the rpg maker to decide whether it's encrypted or not hue zero because it's black anyway so we don't need hue black will be black no matter what and smooth true because why not this dot add child this dot custom button now of course if we just let it like this it will crash because we don't have a custom button defined so we need to define it. And now of course since we won't need any special features defined in other sprites you don't even need the animation sprites etc. So I will simply use the sprite prototype for that. So menu plugin sprite custom button oops function. this dot initialize dot apply this arguments dot prototype equals object create uh, sprite dot prototype sprite custom button dot prototype dot constructor equals sprite custom button type dot initialize equals function and now let's say I want to have the image at the top right corner because there's a ton of empty space there so first I'll call the sprite dot prototype dot initialize dot call this and of course this would not be enough because we need to load the bitmap so let's create a parameter bitmap and pass it to the call. And since it's a 200 by 200, I can place it using uh, this dot x equals graphics dot box width minus 200. This dot y equals zero. I don't even need to type it in, but whatever. And of course, to handle the touch, I of course need to take a look at the touch input. It handles both the mouse and the touch screen. And as you can see, it has the X coordinates, the Y coordinates, and it also has the pressed, triggered and repeated just like normal input. So we could do that inside the update function, but 
that's kind of pointless since the sprite has its own update function too so sprite dot underscore custom button dot prototype dot update equals function uh, sprite dot prototype dot update dot call this and now let's implement the mouse if touch input dot is triggered because we don't want it to be pressed and touch input do not forget that it is a function call if you just use this you will only ask if this function is defined and it will always return true because that is always defined and touch input dot x is above uh, 615 since the screen is 816 and that minus 200 is 616 and touch input dot y equals or not equals is less than 200 not every if else case is this easy because for example if you have the button in the middle of the screen you'll have to have both is slower than and is higher than but this is just for demonstration purposes and just for simplicity let's do something easy console log do or you know what just for the fun scene manager dot push scene equip Let's save it. Let's run it. Let's open the menu screen. And of course, even if we activate the custom uh, custom command window, we can see that the clicks still don't happen, but if we click here, we are inside the equip screen and there is a do in our console. I can do it again and again and again. However, what if you for some reason don't want the button to activate on touch input but on hover. For that let's delete this because that would bloat it. Wouldn't deleting this be enough? Of course, if it would, if it was enough, I would not ask this stupid question. It is simply, if I open the console, not enough. I can hover the mouse how much I want and nothing really happens. In fact, if I take a look at touch input dot x, I can see it is zero only if I click and touch input.x the coordinates change and now I can click wherever I want only now even if I remove the mouse it is still inside the coordinates the reason for that is if I take a look inside the script touch input dot x uh, not dot x dot uh, no the reason for that is simply I won't show search it like that but I'll simply scroll down the event handlers if I can see on touch start on touch move on touch end etc Sorry for the cut, but I have been interrupted. Anyway, the function I was searching for is touch input dot underscore on mouse move. And as you can see, the on move event will be called only if the mouse is pressed. So if you want to fix that, you cannot even alias it. You have to copy it, paste it into the plugin 
and manually delete this. Now, of course, if you're overwriting directly a function from the core script, you have to make sure that either there are no other plugins that involve this function or that the plugin is as close to the top as possible because the closer to the top is possible the lesser the chance is that it will involve uh, uh, it will intervene with other plugins anyway let's now launch it and if we open the menu and the console we can see there are no logs here but now that I just move the mouse in you can see that the do's are starting to pile up if I move the mouse out again they stop if I hover around the C if I stop it will stop etc etc now of course it is fully up to you what you can make from this you could for example make the player follow the mouse or you could make another fun thing maybe a drag and drop so of course if you want to make a drag and drop the easiest thing you can do is just delete this delete this oh and you know what we will delete this as well now if you just wanted to make a cursor you would simply do the touch uh, this dot x equals touch input dot x minus this dot weight divided by two and this dot y equals touch input dot y minus this dot height divided by two and now if I open the menu I have this beautiful cursor I can do whatever I want with it but I don't want the cursor I want drag and drop so this will be only in if I don't know what before that var x equals touch input dot x minus this dot x var y plus touch input dot y minus this dot y if x is under 200 and it is over 0 and y is under 200 and over 0 let's save it and launch it and there you go oops this is just an error but a simple reset will solve it sometimes it happens P. and as you can see we now have a simple drag and drop of our icon so i think that would be it for this video and if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them in the comments and i'll see you at the next video bye bye